From the Classic 107 Studios in downtown Winnipeg, 107 Live for Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance. Hey, welcome to Birchwood Jaguar 107 Live on this balmy Winnipeg Monday morning in the studio uh, this morning who uh, is currently studying at University of Toronto, Emily Recruit Pressey, who began studying violin uh, in the Suzuki program at the age of six. And again, as I mentioned, she is now at the University of Toronto, and she was also studying with the WSO's Daniel Schultz as well. She recently won the Aikens Memorial Trophy at this year's Winnipeg Musical Festival, and uh, also she won the uh, Bertha Burst Scholarship through the Women's Musical Club uh, Scholarship Competition this May. Uh, December 29th, all five winners of this year's WMC scholarships are going to be performing at a special recital, the Winnipeg Art Gallery concert at 7 p.m. But in the meantime, Emily's in the studio. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. Thank you for coming in this morning. I appreciate it. We've been trying to get you back in. And we were in <laughs> you, I was asking you when you came back, came in the first time, and it was in February. Mm -hmm. You came in with a few of the WSO performers, yeah. and uh, we've been trying to get you back in. So we're glad <laughs> that you could finally make it back in. Thanks so, for having me. Yeah. So you're going to play us a song before we have a little chat. What have you lined up for us first? Yeah, so I'm going to play um, the Campagnoli Caprice number 17. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's have a listen. Here is Emily.
Wow, bravo, that's beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you very much. And, uh, you know, you were, you were thinking about picking something that wasn't too complicated, but that sure looked complicated <laughs> to me, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, you know, we had to learn a bunch of um, etudes for our uh, performance exam, and <laughs> we had it last week. Oh, so <laughs> and that was one of them? Yeah, this, this was one of the that's three. That's fantastic. You yeah. sound awesome. I mean, it's only 8.30 in the morning, <laughs> too. I guess you don't often play at this time of the day. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes warming up, but yeah. not performing, that's yeah. for sure. No, you sound awesome. So that's um, in the studio with Emily Recruit Pressy. She's in for... Yeah, Bertro Jaguar 107 Live. She's now back in town visiting uh, family, not just visiting family, of course, for the holidays, but uh, she's in town for performance. But before we talk about the performance, you're living in Toronto now, moved out of the house, mm -hmm. living in the big city, and yeah. uh, you're 18 years old. So tell us about your experiences in Toronto. How's it going? Yeah, no, it's it's really great. It's very, it's obviously very different than mm -hmm. Winnipeg. And so I study with uh, Tang Lee, who is the principal of the of the TSO. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's in Toronto just meeting so many new musicians, new young musicians, new teachers, new violists. There's just so many opportunities to meet and talk to people of completely different backgrounds. Yeah. And yeah, so living, and I live in, in res, uh, and there's 40 people on my floor, and maybe probably 25 of them are also in music. And so uh, meeting singers and like people who don't play stringed instruments and learning how their instruments work and mm -hmm. Uh, how their practice habits are is really just it's really great. <laughs> so, yeah. where are some of the violists that are uh, that your st uh, your uh, students? Uh, where are they from? What what kind of? Um, lots of them are from Toronto yeah. uh, and Ottawa. I find that most people at the U of, at U of T are from the from, GTA yeah. and from Ottawa. Uh, but yeah, I don't think yeah someone's from uh, Calgary. Yeah. So mostly Canadians. Mm -hmm, mostly, mostly Canadians. Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of things are you learning there that you that have kind of expanded your mind that you yeah. weren't necessarily? I mean, it's a big step, you know, moving mm -hmm. away to university and you were studying here with some great great teachers as well. Yeah. What kind of things have you learned so far in the first semester? I think uh, we do a lot of master classes with uh, all the violas and all the violins as well. And so being able to hear everyone play uh, and hearing different styles of how each person has learned from their own t different teachers mm -hmm. uh, um, is really great and being able to get feedback from them too so when we have a master class on Wednesday nights and uh, we'll play like I'll play and they will give me feedback as well as uh, whoever whatever guest teacher is in and then they'll play and I, I can give feedback and it's just it's very it's very much a dialogue of mm -hmm. Viola uh, yeah. <laughs> advice. <laughs> were you were you nervous at first to move um, away and to be in such a kind of different surroundings? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's definitely moving away for school is hard because of the stress factor. Mm -hmm. um, because I spent I spent the summer in Montreal playing um, in the L'Orchestre de la Francophonie. And um, so living in Montreal alone for was very different than living uh, and going to school in Toronto because mm -hmm. there's definitely the added level of uh, school. <laughs> yeah, responsibility. But, yeah. yeah, no, it's great. And it's great being able to go out in Toronto and just ride the subway down to the waterfront mm -hmm. and yeah no it's really cool and you say you, you told me off air you have a meal plan so that covers uh, yeah. that covers that aspect of it at least <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you don't have to do your home cooking no nope. yeah. so you're happy to be home then because you get to see family and you get to have some home cooking mm -hmm. and as you you know lay out on the couch and get some r and r <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Sure. You're pretty much other than you have a performance coming up as well. You want to tell us about that? Yeah. So on the 29th, uh, we're playing for the, the Women's Musical Club uh, co scholarship competition recital. And um, so I'm going to play uh, the, f the prelude to the uh, sixth Bach cello suite, and as well as uh, Paganini Caprice number no. twenty for violin. Mm, but <laughs> that's a nice every, challenging piece. <laughs> yeah, another, again, another one of the etudes that mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned over the semester. And then I'm going to play the first movement of the Vietnam Viola Sonata oh, with Leanne Regier Lee. Nice. Yeah. So what 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 kind of dreams do you have in the next? I mean, let's let's talk about short goal, short term <laughs> goals, and maybe long term goals. What are your short term goals in the next couple of years at, at U of T? Yeah, I think just being able to 
I keep reminding myself to uh, just talk to so many people, just get your name out there, get play for as many people as possible. If I can play in a master class for anyone, just make sure I can I can do that. The mm-hmm. Berlin Phil came and the the violists didn't actually do a master class, but I went to the violin one. Yeah, they were in Toronto, right? Yeah. Simon Rattle brought the Berlin Phil. Was it Simon yeah. Rattle? Yeah, that's right. No, it was really it was really great. I didn't actually manage to get tickets to the concert. They were yeah. very sold out yeah, very yeah. fast. But um no, it's really great. Yeah, so just being able to play for as many people as possible. So a short-term and goal is experience, yeah. knowledge, all that all mm. that kind of stuff, and education, yeah. obviously. What about long-term goals? I guess, I don't know. It's hard because, well, I mean, with every profession, you know, I just want to know where it takes me to mm-hmm. uh, because playing chamber music would be fantastic, being able to collaborate and go to chamber festivals, but also an orchestral job is very uh like secure and uh, obviously a really great job and being able to teach and, Mm -hmm. you know, I want to do it all. But (laughs) that's, yeah. That's good. Mm Open-minded about what comes your way, taking it day by day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, in the meantime, enjoy your visit here in uh, in, in Winnipeg, back in Winnipeg. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer. (laughs) Yeah, you came back just at the right time. I don't know if you caught a few of the days of the deep freeze there or not. When did you get back to town? (laughs) I got back uh, yesterday morning. Okay, so so yeah, not so bad. It was freezing yesterday, but yeah, it's warming up. So that's good. You brought some Mm -hmm. of that Toronto warmth Mm -hmm. with you. (laughs) So you're going to play another song. Yeah, I'm going to play an excerpt from uh, Greensleeves, which is uh, arranged by Watson Forbes, Mm -hmm. uh, and Vaughn Williams uh, wrote it for an opera. Here's Emily Recruit Pressy. Thank you very much. There's Emily Recruit Pressy performing uh, some music. Green sleeves, a little arrangement there. And uh, I want to mention that she'll be performing uh, this the coming Thursday, oh, Thursday, December 29th. So uh, 10 days from now, Thursday, December 29th. All five winners of this year's WMC scholarships are performing a very special recital at the Art Gallery. And you can go to the Women's Musical Club of Winnipeg website, Women's Musical Club of WPG.ca, for more information and uh, tickets. Emily, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Oh, thank you for having really me. Enjoy your time off here. You're probably well deserved. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank yeah. You. Well I will deserved. enjoy it. <laughs> we'll try to have you back again maybe in the new year, and we'll see how, you, how things are going. So, again, yeah. thanks for coming in. Thank you. 107 Live is Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, brought to you by Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance. <laughs>